they chill. So I'm sitting here scrolling through Instagram. I just saw that Davidson Figueredo versus Brandon Moreno is now scheduled for UFC 256, officially scheduled. And I'm thinking if Davidson Figueredo wins, I think he's fighter of the year. I can't think of anyone else that even comes close. I think 125 has a new solid champion. I think Figueredo is undisputedly fighter of the year if he wins. What do you think? You're not the first one to bring that up. I got to tell you, you're not alone with that thought. The first time I heard that very thing, if Figueredo, you know, back in the tape of Figueredo gets the the win here that he's going to be the, the fighter of the year was Ariel. Ariel brought it up to me and he had a lot of the same points as you. A lot of it had to do with the level of activity that should he get this fight on December 12th, that that'll mark his fourth fight within the calendar year in the middle of a pandemic. And the, by the way, the belt was vacated and not only did he grab it, he even had the rematch. And blase, blah. I heard the argument laid out and I don't want to be a hater. I want to be on board with that. And I don't know that I have a better one to suggest for you. Right, if I'm going to tell you that your idea is wrong, I then have to tell you what I think that the right idea is. But I will tell you without studying it on a on a glance, I'm a little bit I'm I'm sheepish on it. I'm the skunk at the garden party. Look, something matters to me that he he missed weight. He didn't even make weight in the Benavides fight. He he got fined. He won the match, but doesn't win the championship. That's a big deal to me. And as we go back and attempt to rewrite these things, apparently they don't matter anymore. I mean, apparently you can fail as many drug tests as you want. There's no asterisk next to your name. It just never happened. Apparently you can miss weight. You go out there, you get the win. Ref reflect record books reflected. It will never say that you had an advantage. It will never say that you didn't follow through on your word. It's just one of these things. Does that make them right or me wrong? Am I, am I coming to you from some kind of a weird high ground? I don't know. Maybe I am. But when I do look at the fact that Figueredo's had three matches this year and he won a championship, he'd all these are great. He missed weight. Does that one, does that one not mark against him in some fashion? And you talk about fighter of the year, there's a little bit more to it than the punches and the kicks too. I mean, there also has to be a star power there. There all legitimately has to be, do you matter within the sport of which supports your argument? Figueredo's done a great job. He's done a great job of keeping things interesting. I mean, there's a reason that Dana's bringing him back. He could bring anybody back. He could bring anybody off the shelf. He could call anybody. He wants to call Figueredo specifically and had an opponent in mind. I mean, those are signs, those are very positive signs. I think whatever wrongs Figueredo did in missing weight, and I understand that I make it a little bit more of it than it is, but it's still a wrong. But whatever wrong, whatever level of wrong that is, if he does a quick turnaround, does a favor for the guy calling him gives an opportunity to a new opponent on very short notice, I think that we should revisit that wrong. It would seem as though, right? How do you make it? He did it wrong, but now he's doing a bigger right. And that'll be a cool move by Figueroa. If he turns around, if he makes weight, if he says yes, if he gives another opportunity, does it all by the year end? You can tell that I'm forming this idea as I'm speaking to you, right? And you're right, I am. But I am changing my own mind. There, there is something there to, to his star power. There is something there to coming in into a division and capturing a championship and largely saving a division. I realize the topic of saving a division is not the same today as it was when Cejudo literally saved the division. But in all fairness, man, once you're on the chopping block once, you're walking on eggshells for a while. They're not on eggshell. In fact, they're going to be contested again in a couple of weeks here. Figueredo gets the credit for that. Fighter of the year. If I want to tell you he's not, I have to then tell you who is. That's hard for me to do. Performance of the year. You would have to look back at Adesanya over Paulo Costa. That would be the single scariest guy who surprised with his deficit, the odds makers and everybody else. Masvidal stepping in and saving the day against Usman. 
Masvidal gets credit. Why does Usman get no credit? Not fair. Usman wasn't active against his choice. He wanted to fight Burns, but he didn't. And I have to operate within the year because you said the year as we're closing out. I don't want it to be Figueredo. I don't know why. I don't know why. Figueredo's never done anything to me. I don't know why I don't want it to be him. I can't offer you somebody else yet. We're going to revisit this. I'm going to work to find an answer. But if I don't, then you win.